about that against a very dangerous Hampton team um, that we got to prepare for with a quick turnaround. And, um, you know, the, the good thing about this tournament is you're a part of it. The bad thing is every, every team is good. And, um, you know, so you got to prepare a uh, quick turnaround. you got to get ready. we got a lot of work to do in a short period. What's your first reaction? You know, what I'm disappointed about is I didn't think they took into consideration um, our injuries and things that we've been through as a, as a basketball organization. But it's only one thing you do it while playing, and that's it. And, and if, and if you know, I'm upset about the seed. We have to go out and take care of business and show it on the court. That's all we can do. It wasn't a big reaction from the players. You know, there's no getting up and jumping. In the yeah, I think we were so shocked to, to be that quick. I mean, the show started and it was us. And last year we were at the very end. I think it was more of a shock factor that it was us right away. Um, you know, so it, it, it's, I'm a little surprised about the play um, but there's nothing I can do about it. So you just you gotta roll your sleeves up, get ready to go to work. Can you use it for motivation? I don't know if it's motivation because it, like, again, it, it's everything about this is good. There's nothing negative about it. Um, no matter how anyone wants to spin it, this is you're part of the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, right now there's probably 320 teams that are devastated, uh, and there's 68 that are ecstatic. So I'm not going to sit here and, and complain or be upset about my seat or playing game or any of that stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to make the, the best of it, have fun with it, enjoy it, and prepare like uh, like I would any other game. How do you handle the turnaround? You know, I think that's one thing that favors us a little bit. We, we're kind of used to doing that all year, not only because of our, our conference, but really in how we approach things. We're, we, we do things with quick turnarounds. We're pretty efficient with that stuff. We'll get to work tonight, and uh, we'll go right from there. What do you know about them? I don't know much. I haven't seen them play a whole lot. I know they played Morgan State, which was a common opponent to us. I know they also played Syracuse early in the year. Um, they have four double-digit scorers. Um, you know, they have a six-seven guy who can put it on the floor. He's, he's good around the rim. Um, you know, they're a dangerous team. And, and listen, the thing about this tournament is the records go out the window. You know, whether it's it's, it's you're playing a Florida Gulf Coast from a, from a couple years ago, we're on a terrific run, or it's a Wichita State, or or it's a Hampton. You have to prepare for everyone. The same because at the end of the day, in 40 minutes, you could, your season could be done. And none of us want to feel that. None of these 68 teams will want to have that feeling. How's last year helping you for this game? I just think the, the, you know, last year when you go, it's kind of all unicorns and beautiful things. And, you know, oh, this is great. And now it's like, okay, that's great. We got that. We've been through that. Uh, we had our first date. You know, now, now we want to get to know you. You know, now we want to see what this is about. And we want to experience, like everyone, I, 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 what I'm saying is no different than else. We want to go to this tournament to win. Yeah, everyone in this tournament should be trying to win a national championship. We are. And if you're not, why are you in this tournament? But we're trying to go win a national title right now. That's our mindset. And anything else, well, why are you in it? Um, so, again, last year we knew what it was like. We were here. We tasted it. Uh, we played in it. We saw what it was like. We played well, but we lost. We came up short. We wanted to do better than that. Do you think maybe you can thrive off the adversity a little more this year, getting the extra game to potentially, if you win that, that one, take on Kentucky? Uh, you know, I don't know if it's adversity. Again, I don't think there's anything negative about this. You know, I don't, I don't think there's anything you can make negative about being in the NCAA tournament. Um, as much as they want you to or lose, it's all good problems, as I call them. You know, and it's just a matter of how you prepare, what your perspective is. Um, you know, my thing is, if you look at it, it's you know, the glass half full, the glass half empty. I say, as long as I'm pouring the water, I don't care what it is. And, and that's really how I'm looking at this, you know. And we were fortunate enough where we're pouring the water because we're in this tournament. With any other team as the team, as the second team other than Kentucky, you probably have no problem with the other team in the from your head. With Kentucky coming up there, does it at all? No. No, we're, we're, all, all, we're, all we're looking at, and I've said this throughout the year, all we're looking at is him. That's, it. That's all we're going to worry about. It's all we're thinking about. We're going to become obsessed with them for the next uh, 36 hours, whatever it is, 48 hours. We're going to be obsessed with him. And then uh, if we're fortunate enough to get to that point, we'll worry about whatever problems come in. But for right now, we have a 48-hour mission. That's him. Coach, what really sparked your team second half of the season, winning the conference tournament, getting you here today? We lost to Rutgers. I said, listen, I know where this team will be February and March. I knew where we would be. 
I knew what our product was. I knew what I was working with every day in practice and in film sessions and individuals. And for me, it was more a matter of once we got healthy, once we got guys gluing, once Emmy and AP understood they were no longer the fourth and fifth option, they were the one and two option. Once those things kind of all came together, I knew it was going to take some time. Did I think it would be two and eight? Absolutely not. Um, but I also knew we weren't going to be nine and one either. So, you know, I, my, my belief and my conviction for how good this team could be, I don't think there was a spark. I just think it was more of a, a, a timing of us getting everything together. And I think once we started doing that in early January, we got some momentum going through February, and then it kind of took out a life of its own coming into March. Yeah, I mean, listen, we're, we're used to a tournament style setting, obviously, and, and a lot of these teams are. Um, the NCAA is tough to capitalize on your depth because timeouts are so long. Teams get a lot of rest in it. Um, you know, but l listen, we're hoping to use our, our depth to wear you down. Um, and that, that's something we've done all year when we play Hampton. That's something we're going to try to do. We get to our bench early, try to get to their legs, and, and see how our 6 7 8 match up against theirs and uh, go from there. Coach, what does it mean for your program to make the NCAA tournament again second year in a row? Oh, I'm ecstatic about it. I think it says so much about where this program has, has come from uh, and where they are today. I don't know how many times it's happened. I think it's only happened one other time for us. Uh, three championship games in a row. I think it says so much about this group of seniors, this group of men. Um, you know, from where I sit objectively or subjectively, I guess, uh, you know, I think we're established ourselves as one of the perennial mid-major schools. That are there doesn't mean we're going to win it every year, but we're in the conversation that you know when you see a Manhattan team take the court, what you're going to get. And for me, that means a lot. Um, you know, we've had turnover, we lost three 1,000 point scores. We're back here again, um, and that's got to be something that we continue to try to build here and, and build tradition. That's what tradition is about. Players move on, but the legacy is kind of bigger than the program. So I'm really proud about that that we have this opportunity. Hey guys, thanks for, thanks for coming, Thank guys. You. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. No, um, it was just a joy to actually be in the tournament again. We knew we was going to make it, obviously, because of the auto bid. But um, my main focus right now is Hampton. We got to we gotta get ready for them on Tuesday, a quick turnaround, you know, so we got to get ready to get ready for back to all. No celebration, no nothing. It looks like you guys were underwhelmed. I mean, yeah, a little bit, but some of us is kind of used to this now because, you know, we, we did it last year, and as we seen last year, we played against Louisville. That was kind of shocking, so it just, you never know what the bracket tally is until it comes out. So, you know, we just taking it one game at a time. We got Hampton, and just got to get ready and be focused for them. Does, does the play-in game change your mindset at all? You know, sometimes teams don't want to win. I mean, it's all right. It, it's, it's another game. It's in the NCAA tournament, you know, so it's a blessing to even be back there, and just we got to be prepared no matter what. We, we was hoping for a higher seed like any other team would, but you know, it was just a blessing to be back, and we just got to get prepared for them. You see a lot of basketball. You seen Hampton at all this year? Do you know about them? Or um, you got to get I caught a little bit of the against Northwest State, but not too much, you know. But we'll know them down yeah, yeah. and be ready for them by Tuesday. <laughs> How has last year helped you come into this game? Um, last year helped tremendously, especially with um, a lot of the guys returning. Um, and it'll be a good game to help. The, the, the underclassmen get prepared, you know, know about the NCAA tournament, and just got to worry about them. Sean, I know you can't really look by the next opponent. What would it mean if you did get to play? I mean, it means everything, you know. You get to play against the number one team. But, like I said before, coach just got us focused and told us to be ready for Hampton, and then it goes from there, one game at a time, like any tournament format. It's quick, though, right? Yes, you quick. Got, you're going to be traveling tomorrow morning, I guess, right? You know, it's not a lot of time to get ready. Yeah, we practice tonight, right after this, you know, get prepared, know what they like to do, and travel tomorrow and get the road started in the tournament. What did it take to get on the roll in the uh, in the MAC tournament uh, to get you here? Oh, it, it took a lot. You know, we started out 28. A lot of guys, a lot of people counted us out. Everybody started getting healthy, came together, and we went on a roll and at, a, at, a, at a time that we needed to. And we had a lot of um, younger guys stepping up some, 
And as the seniors, we knew we had to carry them. That they was that was their first game in the uh, MAC tournament. But it feels good. I noticed that game you put you had really good perimeter defense on the uh, Iona shooters. Is that something you can carry over to uh, to the NCAA games? Hopefully, you know we just got to be there to challenge shots and, and focus on the key guys and make other guys um, beat us. Like um, like Coach A, we always try to take away A, B, and C. Have to have D and E, uh, D and E beat us. Yes, ready to go. You know, we're ready to go. Flight leaves tomorrow and be ready on Tuesday. Yeah. Okay.